Hello and welcome friend, my name is Annika and today I'm doing the workspace tour. Uh, we're actually moving out in a month, uh, but I wanted to keep some kind of record of my current setup so that I would remember and I think that would be fun for you too. So that's what we're doing today. I will probably make a lot of mistakes, um, saying things wrong, um, but I will <laughs> try my best. And um, like I said, we're moving into a new place, so there probably is going to be another workspace video in a couple of months. But until then, I really would like to show you this one. Um, we painted this room not long ago, uh, so before I used to have shelves on that space and I had to remove a lot of things that I had um, to store. For now, uh, they're going up in the new place, but for now it's uh, I kind of limited myself a little bit. And a disclaimer, I've collected these uh, things over the years and uh, some of them are birthday gifts and uh, things I've inherited or things I've gotten second hand. So I am not rich by any means. I just happen to love buying art supplies and yeah, and collecting things and um, I don't really know how to do this. So look at this as the test run and if there is something you would like me to change or uh, that you think I skipped over, uh, let me know and I will try and think about that in the next workspace video. Let's get started. So before we go into details, I think we could do a, a view of the room. And here we have the computer space. And here's my drawing, <laughs> drawing place. Uh, here's another space I use sometimes. And here's uh, where I keep a lot of things. So here's my computer setup. But maybe we should. <laughs> Don't mind this. Uh, <laughs> so here's the printer we have. We have a HP some kind of printer. And then we have my computer setup. It's uh, where I edit my videos, browse the internet and other computer things, uh, play games and such. And um, I have currently have two monitors. I used to have three, but when we moved everything out, when we painted the room, and then when we set it up again, one of them broke. Uh, so now I only have two. And one of them is actually, that one is actually a, a drawing tablet. It's a alternative to a Wacom Cintiq. But I will talk about that a little bit more later. Uh, but on this side, I have my external hard drives. We have my microphone, which I use when I record my audio for my videos. Uh, but not right now, because I'm using the camera's microphone, so I don't know if this will work, but let's try. And here's... This monitor does not... Um, um, it's... It's like it is, but I like my to be a little higher. So that's why I'm using my Harry Potter collection <laughs> book things. I have all the pocket books in there. And uh, yeah. And we have some cables and such. And keyboard, mouse, and here's the pen for the tablet. And the webcam. And, uh, and I actually have an additional keyboard which is wireless, uh, which I use for shortcuts uh, when I'm drawing on the uh, tablet. Yeah. So I, I guess a lot of you will be interested in knowing a little bit more about this tablet. It's a Bosto 22HD tablet. I got it back in late 2013. I'm not sure if I recommend it. It's a cheap alternative to a uh, Wacom Cintiq, but I have had a, a lot of issues with it uh, setting up. Cursors jumping and not getting smooth lines and such. 
It helps if you use a program like Mega Studio 5. That helps. That program has a built-in stabilizer. I'm not sure if that's the word, but it stabilizes your pen strokes. You can actually adjust the levels of the sensitivity of that. But this is what I'm using. I would like eventually to get a Wacom Cintiq of any kind, because I do like the motion of drawing on the tablet itself because I've been drawing traditionally a lot these past years so it feels kind of unnatural in a way to use another kind of tablet which I have also I have um, Intuos 3 medium size which I keep for as a backup if this should die on me I will link to the Busto site below but like I said, I I have mixed feelings about it. But you should definitely look into it if you're interested in getting an alternative to uh, Sendik. Let me know if you have any more questions about that and I could talk more about it in my next workspace video. So let's move on to the next part. So here's the next part of my desk. It's... Uh, uh, hutch thing. I'm not sure if what's... well it has drawers in it. It's, it's actually supposed to go under the desk and I used to have it th that way before but when I lost the shelves on the other wall uh, I needed uh, spaces to kind of easy access for my things and this is what I came up with. Uh, so I unscrewed the wheels and then just put it up there and I keep these A3 boxes, which is from IKEA, uh, where I keep some of my A3 things. And I also have this box contains, uh, well, random things, but mostly shipping things, um, gift ACOs. Uh, I have, yeah, supplies. And this box is pretty much empty right now. And this one, a uh, little purse uh, thingy I made myself uh, at a course. And I keep my fabric pencils in there. I guess you I could show you. Yeah, fabric pencils of different kinds. And then we have some gouache paint and wash your spray bottle and all my brushes and my little zebra cutie which I've gotten from my sister. So that's everything on top. And in the drawers, in this one, I keep personal uh, important papers. And here's a lot of um, single, pap single paper, watercolor paper and uh, notepads. And here's, um, I used to do a lot of uh, personal birthday cards for family and relatives. So here's some uh, sketches for those. And let's move this. Here's uh, our watercolor pencils. And we have pastel pencils underneath and other kind of pencils, drawing pencils, and switch, and some salt. And then we have some more watercolor paper in these smaller sizes. And, uh, and other things in underneath, I think. Yeah, a, a lot of watercolor paper in this one. And here's the junk drawer. Uh, these things, um, these pegs, I think it's pegs, <laughs> and uh, this baking paper thingy thingy, I actually use uh, sometimes uh, on my lamps to diffuse light when I'm filming. This ACO I received uh, when I did a trade with Kata22, I think. And it's of Daenerys from uh, Game of Thrones with one of the dragons. And here's by Ellen 
Wilberg, tror jag. I think. And uh, she's from Norway. And yeah, I love this. It's one of the ACOs I've bought from her. And in here we have some cables and such. And flowers. And the rest of this part of the desk is kind of plain. I keep my Copic chart over here with some, and also some uh, reference for lines and such. And here's I keep my um, pencil sharpeners. And we're, yep. And we have some pins, needles, I don't know. And the charger for the camera. I'm sorry if this is too dark, but down here we have some cardboard way back there. And we have uh, my sewing things and, and sewing machine. And we have some A3 paper. And uh, uh, in here we have photo paper and some envelopes and such. Here we have, I keep my, for now, my palettes and um, watercolors. And here's a pencil case I made. And yeah, watercolors and other watercolor things and some gouache. And here's um, kind of the junk things, but supplies of different kinds. And uh, yeah. And then the last one I have my glue, uh, tape and things like that. And here we have, which you can't see, but here's a baggie. Uh, which I bought uh, so that I could keep my Copics in when I traveled. It's uh, one of those beauty bags, but yeah, it worked nicely for keeping all my Copics and here we have a Hello Kitty bag with uh, some uh, <laughs> file kind of <laughs> I'm not and I'm never sure what those are called but uh, file th keeping things <laughs> and uh, some bigger papers yeah I guess we could con continue with underneath over there we have my fabric paints and some sketchbooks which are both filled and some that's not used yet. And in the box below I have all my acrylic paints and uh, there's uh, different kinds of tripods. And here we have a little uh, table that uh, can be put down. <laughs> it's... Uh, Klaffbord, helt enkelt. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the word for that. Uh, and I can't explain it better, I'm sorry. Uh, but I, there I keep other papers that I want to keep at hand. And here are some other personal papers. And over here is another tripod. And here is our laser printer. And some fixative and such. I should probably mention that the tables are from Ikea, all of them. Uh, this is, I'm ha I have to look it up again, but I think it's called Blick or something like that. And it has um, those, uh, yeah, uh, it's tiltable. So I have it at a slight tilt, I'm not sure if you can see. And uh, yeah, uh, but I will list the actual name in the video and in the description so if you're curious look at that it's here's an overview of the desk itself and here's my light box it's a hue something uh, also will be listed in the description so look at that uh, here's uh, one of those hard case pencil cases. Uh, here I keep a few of my Posca pens and uh, such. And in this one I think, yeah, a few more and other pens and such. And in this one I keep all my 
colored pencils. Uh, I've had this pencil case for years. I got it as a Christmas presents, I think, from my one of my sisters, and it's lasted a really long time. Uh, I kind of need to, if I ever buy more colored pencils, I need to look at an alternative to this. But I really like it. Uh, it's a leather type one, toy man thing. I, I really like it. And. I guess I could show you. This box is from Ikea. It came with a bigger box, which is over there, and two small ones. I was going to keep A5 papers in here, but now I keep other stuff, like my uh, refills for Copics and my ACO clear bags. Yeah, and other random things. And in this one, which is also from Ikea. It's an A5 fo uh, folder. That's the name for it, uh, I think. <laughs> yeah, this in this folder there's uh, a few uh, drawings, A5 size. Uh, if we have um, the Aerial one, the collab I did with Zoe Mariner. And I also have this notebook in which I keep uh, notes of, about uh, future YouTube videos and other random things. And here I have a little container with ACO pre-cut things and also things that I haven't finished yet. Here's a few, uh, which I want to finish someday, but yeah, I... Yeah, I, I have a few that I need to finish coloring. This is this one is started, but yeah, I, I'm I'm not sure what to do with it next. So it's in here, and I keep um, empty ACO cards in here, which I uh, cut myself. Over here we have some uh, notebooks, sketchbooks, and the and the blue pad paper and more. Notebooks, sketchbooks. Here we have uh, a few of my pencil cases that I made myself. Yeah, I decided to keep them because I needed them for the pencils that are, are that are inside. I actually have a few for sale, but not at the moment, not in my Etsy store. The ones I have right now is for sale um, in the town that where I grew up. Um, but if I have some, I will be listing them in September. Um, if you're interested in getting one, uh, they're <laughs> hand painted by me uh, with either uh, fabric pens and or fabric paints on cotton. And now there is going to be a slight change in the video because apparently I didn't film this part when I did the rest of the video so if the lighting is a little bit off and there's more background noise you'll know why. Let's begin. Uh, here's uh, sketches, some folders with things. This pile is daily sketches from April to June uh, which needs to be filmed and scanned and uh, I haven't gotten around to that. In, the, in this box I keep uh, all the ones that are finished and filmed and all that. Uh, so not much more there. There's a tape holder. Uh, it's really sturdy it, and great. And one of those whole bunch of things. And here's, is, here is the Copic stand with all my Copics. I bought a 72 set but I have bought uh, a lot of singles to complement uh, the collection, so I think I have over a hundred markers at the moment, plus these, which are three markers, the old kind, which don't have a see-through thing. It still has three nibs, but it doesn't come with a brush nib, 
And on top is a postcard from Leelani Joy here on YouTube. I backed one of her Kickstarter campaigns and I got that one and I really like it so I keep it there for inspiration. And we have all my markers I can go over, you can see kind of my color setup. And here's some um, touch twin markers. I have the blue grays and a colorless blender. And the stand I actually made myself. It's entirely made out of uh, cardboard and uh, the four details and just to make it look a little bit pretty. I have electrical tape. It doesn't have any function other than being pretty. Uh, as you can see I kind of need to make a new one if I want to buy more markers. So I might do some kind of tutorial do-it-yourself thing how to make uh, this out of cardboard because I know there's a lot of uh, tutorials about doing these stands in foam board but yeah I couldn't get my hands on any so and this was cardboard I had laying around so so that's a alternative maybe and now on to the original clip and we have this cork board which is empty like I said we repainted this room and I used to have a lot of inspirational things on this, that one but I haven't gotten around to pinning anything up again so it's pretty much empty and here we have my inks and uh, we have the Pepeo India ink thing which I used to do all my Inktober drawings it's pretty much empty <laughs> And I, after that, I bought a few of these Daler and Rowney FW acrylic inks, uh, which I haven't used all that much yet. I'm, I want to. Uh, I have a few colors, and uh, yeah. And we have my dip pens and my brushes for doing ink things. I actually have this uh, feather dip pen too and some tape and yeah some notes and over here we have my main pen pencil case uh, which I keep my favorite pens and my very favorite one is this one it's a Pilot Shaker X.5 and I really like it yeah I have a lot of favorites in this one uh, I might do just a favorite material video sometimes because yeah and we have uh, a jar which I have kept for a long time uh, uh, in which I keep my water when I'm doing either watercolors or inks and here's a cow cup which I keep uh, well the pens that's not in very important uh, highlighters and such and in that cat uh, mug I keep my cutting knives and such. Over there you have my big jar where I keep, where I keep my water because I I'll drink a lot of water. So yeah, gotta have that. And we have uh, a lot of scissors, uh, hole punch. Uh, this is a letter knife I think it's called which I when I'm using watercolor papers that are glued I use this one and yep yeah, it's pretty good for that but it's pretty <laughs> pointy too so I have stabbed myself multiple times and here we have some of those clasp things and other. There's a lighter over there uh, which I can use for burning the edges of uh, I would like to say strings. M -m -m yeah the, when sewing it can be useful. And here we keep um, uh, my eraser, a plastic eraser and uh, 
measuring thing and such and a ca calculator because it's useful and some uh, sticky notes because yeah this is the notes for the recent uh, collaboration I did with uh, Cassandra I made another note thing for her so that she could uh, match it up with my my side of the painting I thought that would uh, make her life a little bit easier I have uh, a metal ruler I actually have two of those and I have small ones too this one is uh, better because it has this rubbery thing uh, that prevents it from gliding which is very useful and here we have uh, my Samsung tablet thing which I either use uh, to look up reference or watch uh, videos while I am drawing because uh, if I'm sitting here I can't see the screens over there so yeah and here's my calendar it's all pink and pretty and useful and here's my current uh, sketching page. I haven't gotten so far but I really like this uh, girl so I might be doing something with her. It's A4 paper and I have uh, this underneath. It's pretty messy and I have kept it for a long time but I like to keep it as a drawing board uh, kind of thing. Yep, to when I'm drawing even if I'm drawing on a mat and that it brings us to the mat. It's a, I think it's a A2 size drawing mat. It's from Transotype or something like that. It's actually double sided. We have a black side and a green side. And I keep the green side for cutting and the a black side for everything else essentially. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I really like it. And I have a smaller one as well, which is over here, uh, which also is double sided. And I have an old cutting mat from that's just one side. And we have the lights, which is also from IKEA. It's I get I got two of them, and uh, yeah, pretty standard and. This is new, it's, um, it's from the, I actually bought uh, another one of these lamps, don't mind that, it's just, we're moving soon, so yeah, but I saw a tutorial online how to make one of these desktop tripod things, because before I had shelves over here and I kept a uh, tripod mounted on and straight out and have the camera like this well I don't have them anymore so I needed an alternative so that I could do videos again uh, before we moved and I, I probably will be using this one later I actually haven't tried it out for real yet uh, so I don't know if it works but it has uh, a Sony camera head, just, uh, something like that. Yeah, and it's, it's homemade, but the idea is from a video on YouTube, so I will link that in the description. And my dad and my boyfriend made it for me. I bought a pot and they did it, the rest. Uh, I guess that's about it. Um, I'm pretty sure I messed a lot of things up. But yeah, it's pretty difficult to do this sort of video and I hope you like it anyway. And, and if you have any suggestions for things that you would like me to elaborate on for my next workspace video, please leave them in the comments and I will try my best. And yeah, and if I missed anything important you think I should mention, just uh, let me know and I will put it in the description. So thank you very much for watching. Hello!